Hello and welcome to a tutorial where I'll show you how to make a film border overlay like this in free version of DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I have a clip here prepared and a compound clip above it, which actually is the film border itself. When I zoom in on the actual size, you can see that there is a certain amount of blur and imperfection to the film border. And we're actually going to keyframe it as well to make your videos look nice. So to recreate this effect, what we have to do is go to Toolbox, to the Generators, and find Solid Color. Drag it onto your timeline, and in here, in the Inspector, you can find Color and change it to White. Then go to the Effects, and drag the Adjustment Clip above it. So in the Effects, find a Color Border, and drag it onto your Adjustment Clip. Here in the Inspector and Settings, you have to define the color to be black and the border width is up to your preference. I'm gonna go with negative 0 0.05. Uh, then change the corner radius up to your preference, what you think looks good. And then add a little bit of the soft edge. 0 0.31 is actually really great. If you look at the actual size, there is a certain amount of Gaussian blur on the edge. The next effect that you'll find under the fusion effects is the noise distortion. Drag it onto your clip after the color border and open the settings. Bring the detail to like 9, decrease the contrast to 0 0.5 and bring the scale up to 20. Then in the displacement controls leave the offset to negative 0 0.5 and change the refraction strength to like 0.03. And if you look at the clip, you can see that you end up with a very nice soft edge with a little bit of roughness and distortion. To bring our film border to life, what we have to do is animate the seed value. So at the beginning of the clip, click the keyframe here at zero, go to the end of the clip and type in 10. This will give us a very subtle, nice animation to the edges. If we select both clips, right click and press new compound clip, we can name it for example border, we'll end up with a nice overlay that we can put over any of our existing clips. The only thing we have to change is put the composite mode to multiply. To access the original layers, all you have to do is right-click the compound clip and press open in timeline. This will give you both the adjustment clip and solid color, so you can change the settings to your preference. So that's it for the tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new and see you in the next video.